Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can create a book using the book module in Lightroom. So I'm starting here in the library module for a reason because I think it's going to be worth your while to invest a little bit of time selecting the images that you want to use in your book and sequencing them, laying them out in the correct order that you think you want them in, and adding any captions or any titles to each one of the images because if you do that at the beginning of your book project, it's really going to save you some time when you get into the book module. Now, you can always change the order of your photos and you can always change templates and everything in the book module. In fact, you can even change your captions and you can change all of the text. But I just find that if I'm trying to make a book quickly, I'm much better off if I really organize my book here in the library module first. All right, so I've got this collection here called Best of Japan. And when we select each one of these images, I just want to point out over here in the metadata that I've actually put a title in each one of these images. So as I move from one image to the next, you can see that that title will change. And I'm going to have the book module automatically grab those titles for me and insert them as captions underneath my photographs. All right, so let's move over to the book module. I'll click on book and you can see that Lightroom automatically starts laying out the book for me. But we have a lot of things that we can control before we actually create our book. So let's go ahead. We'll scroll up to the top and I want to see a little bit more of my book. So first of all, I'll select the front and back cover, but then I will hide the panel over here on the left hand side, just so I can see more pages a little bit larger. I don't need this overlay here of the information. So I'm going to tap the I key to hide that. You tap the I key again to toggle it back on, but I don't need it for right now. Now let's take a look at the preferences for the book module. So underneath the book menu, there are actually different preferences here than the general preferences in Lightroom. So I'll choose book preferences and I want the default photo zoom to actually zoom to fill the cell. So because the book module is template driven, when I select a template, it's going to have a cell to put the photo in and I want Lightroom to automatically zoom my photo to fill that cell. It might have to crop it a little bit, but I can reposition the image within the cell at any time. I want to start the new books by auto filling. That's what it just did. And as far as my text options go, I'm going to fill the text boxes with my title metadata because I've entered in titles in the library module in the metadata for each one of these images. All right, I'll close the book preferences and then let's look at the book settings. So there are three different types of output that you can garner from the book module. We can print using Blurb, which is an online service to publish our book. We can print to a PDF file or we can print to a series of JPEG images. In this video, we're going to walk through setting up our book for Blurb. You can see that there's a variety of different sizes and different aspect ratios that I can print to. I'm going to select the standard landscape. Then I'll choose soft cover. And for paper type, I'm going to select premium luster because I don't want a glossy surface for this book. I'm also going to turn on the logo page because that's going to reduce the cost of printing the book. And the logo page is just this small logo on the last page of the book. All right, let's take a look at the auto layout presets. You'll notice that there are a variety of different presets. We can always go in and edit the auto layout presets. But what I basically want is on the left side, I want one blank page. And then on the right, I want one photo with photo text. So I could actually just use this preset here, but I want to show you all the different options you can choose from. So we could change the left side to a fixed layout or we could even randomize it if we just want Lightroom to lay out the book for us. We can also have it mirror the right size. For now, I'll leave it blank. And then over here with the right pages, you'll notice that I have fixed layout selected and then I can choose from all these different templates. So these are my one photo templates and we can scroll down through them. Or I could choose from two photos per page templates and you'll notice that some of these templates have text on them as well as photographs. Some of them actually have unique borders around each one of the photo cells. 
So there's a ton of different options that you can choose from here. We can do three photos per page, four photos. We can even do multiple pages here that have like six photos. They can have uh, uneven size photos, all sorts of different options. So when you have a minute, take a look at all those different templates. Now, we've also got them arranged a little bit differently. If you're focusing on text pages, for example, you can select that kind of category of template instead, and then you'll just see all of the images that are heavy with text. If we want to see more of the clean designs, basically it's just a different way that we've organized those templates. All right, let's go back to one photo per page, and I will just make one change here. Instead of having it be a full bleed, let's select a different template. I'm going to zoom the photos to fit. I'm going to add the photo text and align it with the photos. And you can even use a text style preset. So these are presets that actually come with Lightroom. And I want my caption to be a sans serif font. So I'll select that. And then we can click Save and name our preset. So I'll just call it JK Getting Started Series Preset. I'll use Create. And then I need to relay out the book based on this new preset that I just defined. So I'll clear the layout first and then choose Auto Layout to have Lightroom lay out the book based on that preset. All right, let's navigate to the top. And we need to talk a little bit about how we want to view our images. So right now, we're actually using this first icon down here in our toolbar, which is the multi-page view. But we also have the option to zoom in to a specific spread. Now, I'll want to be sure that I select one of the pages in order to zoom to that specific page before I click on this icon. But we can see now I'm looking at the double page spread. If I use my arrow keys, I can move from one page to the next. And you'll also notice that you can see right here, I've actually got some text. That's the text that Lightroom auto imported because I told it that I wanted it to grab the title from each individual photograph. We can also just view one page if we want to. And I can do so by either clicking on this third icon here in my toolbar, or we can simply double click on a page to see the single page view. And those three different views have really easy keyboard shortcuts to remember because they're all next to each other. It's Command on the Mac or Control on Windows. And we can tap the E key to go to our multi-page view. We can do Command R to go to our double page spread. And we can use Command T in order to go to a single page. Excellent. I'm going to use Command E again to view multiple spreads at one time. All right, now there's one last thing that I want to do before we wrap up. I'm going to show the panel on the left hand side so that you can see that I have a collection here. This is just a regular collection of images. But now that I've put some effort into creating this book, I want to create a saved book. And what that does is it tells Lightroom to save not only the selection of photos, but to save those photos with the layout that I've already created. So I'll click Create Saved Book. We'll call this Japan Book. I'll include it inside the Best of Japan collection and then choose Create. And we can see here on my collection panel, I have the Best of Japan. That's just my regular collection. And now I have my saved book project, which is this Japan book. Excellent. That wraps up how to start creating your photo book in Lightroom. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.